Hi and welcome to the Ableton Live tutorials and um, talking about effects and today we're talking about AutoPan um, and what AutoPan does is that it automatically pans the input signal from side to side in your stereo sound field so basically saying from it pans your sound from left speaker to right speaker so we're going to just explore that today so if I play my sample loop and find auto pan within the devices, the effects, and I'll just bring that over. Nothing happens. We'll stop that. Um, if you notice that straight line down the middle, um, between the L and the R, that means that no panning's um, happening at all. Uh, so if we increase the amount, we can see two lines appearing of different colours and one's blue uh, which indicates the left side of the spectrum and the yellow one represents the right side so on this we're getting full amount to the left and full amount to the right so we've been split left and right and just a little bit a split a little bit and nothing right, so we bring that back up and if we select different waves, so with here it's like a sine wave, this one's sort of, and it one's a bit more on the jagged side. There we go. And if we press play again, if you do this in Ableton, you'll be hearing now um, the loop jumping from left to right. Now many of lives plugins that we've actually done you can synchronize the LFO with the the tempo and to do that we we'll just press that and what that does is that it actually um, pans your sound to the beat of the song so making it a bit more interesting the main problem is with auto pan is, is that too much of it can actually make you feel ill. So we don't want too much. Auto pan, I would say, is great for big sweeps and big strings, um, slowly going from left to right rather than jumping left to right really, really quickly. So that's auto pan.